Welcome to uh, Sri Lata Organic Farming. In this session, let us see the ecological approaches for sustainable plant health management. The key issues now what we are facing are especially in agriculture, productivity and income generation. The demand for food is increasing. Even the productivity is also increasing, that is agree. Whether the increased pro productivity is increasing income of a farmer, that is the main concern. Whether farmer is getting his share of income. Then human health and safe food. The food consumption is increasing and variety of food we are consuming. Whether the food which we are taking, is it healthy and safe? Healthy means whether it is containing all the nutrients required for us. Safe means, is it free from contamination, either microbial or pesticidal contaminations. And the third key issue is maintenance and maintaining and enhancing agrobiodiversity. Are we maintaining the agrobiodiversity with this monocropping mono and all? Are we encouraging biodiversity of below ground organisms like microbials and all and above ground plants and all? So these are the key issues which are to be discussed. Chemical pesticides, actually in order to reduce the crop losses, chemical pesticides were introduced. But instead of giving solution, the pesticides, they became problem themselves. They are creating problems, various types of problems they are creating. Let us see what are all the different types of problems they are creating. They are creating the problems of pest outbreaks. Outbreak of pests is uh, occurring, causing so much damage to the crops. Pests are developing resistance. At genetic level, that is also another problem the pesticides are creating. Pest resurgence, the pest is reappearing. And outbreak of secondary pests, the pests which are very minor earlier days, they are becoming major pests nowadays. So pest resurgence, when the pesticide is applied, the natural enemies are also killed. Maybe due to the pesticide or due to the lack of food because pest is killed with the pesticide. In the absence of natural enemies, the pests are occurring frequently. So more number of sprays are required because it is a natural process. The crop pests are controlled by the natural enemies. It is a natural process of control. When we are disturbing the natural process, the natural enemies, which are also called farmers friends, friendly insects, which consumes the crop pests, which uses the crop pests as their food. So their population is declining. And when in the absence of natural enemies, the pest is appearing and again, again, again and again after the pesticide sprays. So this is a point which is to be considered. And the sec outbreak of secondary pests, when our aim is uh, major aim either in the breeding programs or in the uh, pesticide usage, control of the primary pests, the secondary pests are creating problem. There are strategies for pest management. There are preventive measures like first phase cultural practices are to be followed like crop rotation, soil management. Host plant resistance, that host plant resistance also, it should not be a transgenic one, non-transgenic, normal, conventional host plant resistance, farm field maintenance, these things. The second phase is the vegetation management to enhance natural enemy impact and exert direct effects on pest population. Here we are creating favorable conditions to the natural enemies, unfavorable conditions to the pest. Third, Inundative and inoculative release of biological control agents. The biological control agents 
whenever required. The inundative, that means huge quantity release or inoculative early in the season before the pest develops release in small quantities. That is the third phase or third phase of strategic pest management. Fourth phase, approved insecticides of biological and mineral use, uh, mineral origin or mating disruptions. Some other mechanical methods to control pests can be Applied. Applied. So, this is uh, the strategy for pest management. The ecological approaches respect all the strategies. Actually, it focuses on restoration of ecosystems. Here, the agriculture ecosystem is also considered as one ecosystem and the ecological in, uh, engineering focuses on the restoration of agricultural ecosystem. If the ecosystem is already disturbed by environmental pollution or land disturbances, the restoration is immediate need. For the development of new sustainable ecosystems that have both human and ecological value, it is not only the human value, it is not only profit oriented, ecologically it should be valuable. And ecological restoration. The return of an ecosystem to a close approximation of its condition prior to disturbance. That is uh, more important. Prior to the disturbance, every ecosystem is self-sustained, self-balanced and regenerative, sustainable. So, bringing the ecosystem to the nearest approximation of its condition prior to the disturbance. There are great scientists who talked about ecological engineering. Odom. He is a scientist. The term ecological engineering was uh, coined by him. What he said, to maintain any ecosystem, not, about, uh, not in particular about agricultural ecosystem, any ecosystem, for the maintenance of the ecosystem, maximum energy should be from the ecosystem itself through the natural processes and resources. Only supplementary energy, little quantity can be drawn from the outside. That is his concept of ecological engineering. It is a broader term and broader application to any ecosystem. So, Mish and Jogersen, what they said, they brought the human and ecological interface to the ecological engineering and they brought it to the agriculture. Gar et al. Anyone can read these books which are available in the libraries and online. A clear concept of ecological engineering uh, we can get by reading those books and research articles. Gar et al, what he said, this ecological engineering, he brought it into the next level, that is for the pest management through ecological engineering. So, these pest management approaches are based on cultural practices and informed by ecological knowledge rather than on high technology approach, approaches such as synthetic pesticides and genetically engineered crops. In ecological engineering, pesticides and genetically engineered crops are avoided. So here, this ecological engineering concept is matching with our organic farming. Almost all the principles of ecological engineering and organic farming are same. Here we are saying agriculture ecosystem as a holistic ecosystem which is having different services of provisioning, non-marketed services and supporting services like soil structure and fertility, nutrient recycling, water provision, genetic biodiversity and it is also having regulating services like soil retention, dung burial, pest control, natural way, food source and habitat for beneficial insects, water purification, atmosphere regulation. These are all the regulatory services of the agriculture ecosystem. Agriculture ecosystem also can express disservices like pest damage, competition for water from other ecosystems, competition for pollination, the, why these disservices are expressed? Because of habitat loss, natural runoff, pesticide poisoning of non-target species. 
so here we have to understand all the activities of the agriculture ecosystem what services it is giving what supporting services it is giving what regulating services it is giving what non marketed services it is giving and when it is disturbed what dis services it can give all the things are to be observed by considering agriculture as complete ecosystem so in the next session let us see what it says regarding the restoration of the biodiversity and conservation of the biodiversity so with this i am signing off from this session thank you sri lata